Okay, we got some uh, major development here. Um, I just had to build this right away and it does work. Uh, Slayer 007 at the Energetic Forum has come up with a rotorless pulse motor. And uh, it's a combination of a lot of different things that he's come up with and it works. And it works really good. And it's the CFL um, project. And he's put that together with a reed switch and a coil. And I changed it to a bifiler Bedini coil. And I did a couple little things differently, but basically this is his circuit. This is Slayer 007's circuit. Now, Bodkins did a very similar thing uh, early on in the project with the reed switch and the CFL. And I put it all together as best I could today, but this is really, really neat stuff. Um, what I've done here is I've got an ammeter. It's a uh, analog ammeter, a 12-volt power source. That's the source battery. Uh, this is going to be the voltage right here on this big capacitor. That's a uh, 1300 microfarad 100 volt capacitor. And then I've got the CFL hooked up to the ignition coil in the standard way. I'm coming off the ignition coil with a diode, a 1N007 diode to the capacitor. capacitor goes back to the plus on the uh, source battery. Now the Bedini bifiler, this is a standard uh, lid motor coil. It's a little different. The uh, primary uh, windings um, with the larger wire are less number than the secondary windings. And I tried it several different ways and this was the way that worked for me. But any standard Bedini bifiler coil will do this, I'm pretty sure. Just come off your secondary coil with a bridge rectifier and then you go right into a capacitor or a um, another charge battery. So you've got dual charging going on here. You've got charging coming off your ignition coil and you've got charging coming off of your bifiler Bedini coil. Now the way this is triggered is with a reed switch and the ingenious thing of Bodkins and Slayer 007 is you get it going with a magnet next to the reed switch. This is a burglar alarm reed switch. There's all different kinds but this has a pretty good uh, amperage rating on it so I used it. I did add a, a 1K pot right here in the circuit. He called for a 220 ohm resistor. I put in a 100 ohm and then a 1K pot so I could vary the voltage, vary the voltage to the uh, base of the power transistor. Now this is just breadboarded. Now the power transistor gets hot. If we were going to do this seriously, we'd have to address that situation. But let me turn it on and show you what's going on. Um, Okay, first of all, there's the CFL that just lit up. There's the cap, the big cap loading up right there. Now I have this night light turned off right now. The, what I'm going to show you is the standing voltage on that cap when I put a load on it. Okay, now this is like I say running through the bifiler coil with the reed switch and I can vary it by moving that magnet back and forth and it adjusts the brightness on the light in the amp draw. There's the amp draw. It's less than half an amp. Okay, so this is similar to the way we've done it with the relay and the um, other circuits that we've come up with. It's very, very similar. Okay, I'm going to turn this off now. There's the voltage on the cap. Just to show you what I've got. And I'm going to short this out. Watch, watch the big jump here. Just to show you that there's energy being recovered here. That's a pretty big jolt there, folks. You wouldn't want to get your fingers on it. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the night light on here. And turn this back on. Okay, there goes the, uh, get this set up here. It's hard to get this set up just exactly right. Because we're using a magnet. And there's the night light. 
and that'll hold at about 30 some odd volts and just stay there. So I've got a standing voltage on that cap at over 30 volts, which means this ignition coil is pumping juice out of it. And there's my amp draw, less than half an amp. Now what's coming off the back of the Bedini here, I'm going to connect this here, is that. That's the back coil on the Bedini. Okay, so I've got stuff going on two different directions. I've got a collapsing coil that's energizing a coil on the Bedini coil. I've got the ignition coil here that's firing off energy into that cap or another battery. And that's the standing voltage with that nightlight illuminated. And I've got a CFL lit. And that's all happening at less than half an amp on a 12 volt power source. So anyway, this is really, really neat stuff. And uh, I credit Slayer, 007, and Bodkins. And of course, you have to credit Emoteep and Dr. Peter Linderman for getting us all started on this. And this is uh, an amazing project that we've gotten involved with here. And uh, one last thing, if I can get this to keep running here. <laughs> I found a new toy. It's a um, Christmas tree light tester. And uh, this little guy here actually uh, is like those neon testers for high voltage. And it'll, uh, it'll uh, show you a high voltage on this thing if it gets close. And I'll show you on the wall here what it looks like. See, that goes off if I get it close to the wall source. We got high voltage coming off of this too. Now this <laughs> this was for um, and get this to go again here. This one's for um, Nat. I'm going to disconnect that. You can still hear that going off. I'm going to put on my little antenna for Nat here. And this will go all the way across the room when it's running. And you hear the, the speed of that. So anyway, we are transmitting some electricity here, folks. <laughs> or magnetic waves. I'm not sure what it is. But this is all real neat stuff. And that's the latest.